Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna Kay and in this video I will be sharing and showing you how to taper off of Kratom if that is something you so wish to do. Now there are various reasons why one would want to stop taking Kratom and that would be their they realize that they've become too dependent on it and anything too much can be a bad thing and doesn't make that thing bad per se. It just means that we have a dependent nature towards this thing and it's best to try to taper off to avoid dependency. Another reason would be you are starting a job and Kratom is illegal or something that they it's not approved where you're at so you would want to get off of it as soon as possible and of course another reason would be you just simply don't want to take it anymore and the reason is none of your business which i respect that as well in this video i'll be covering the stages of the tapering process what to expect at each stage and things that you can do as a counter as an alternative to handle the withdrawals. So you will learn so much in this video and this doesn't mean I'm against Kratom. I take Kratom for my chronic disease and it helps me with the pain. And if, I, if it wasn't Kratom, I would be taking something else because I live with a disease. So for me, Kratom is the lesser of evils out there that help with my symptoms that I deal with. So I don't really get the option of just not taking anything or tapering or taking a break because I live in chronic pain. So Kratom helps take the edge off. Of course, everything in moderation is key. So I do things to make sure my body does not become dependent on Kratom. And either or, because you take something daily, that that's naturally going to happen. So if I was to stop Kratom, I would follow these steps to kind of avoid the most intense version of a, the withdrawal process. But I'm not going to taper off anytime soon until they come up with something equally as amazing and natural and free. Uh, but until then, I will talk and educate you if this is something you are looking to do. There are three stages. Now, the first stage to tapering off a of Kratom is the acute stage. It usually starts between day one and day seven and can persist as late as day 17 and can be characterized by the most severe withdrawal symptoms which can include anxiety, chills, depression, diarrhea, dizziness, fluctuations in body temperature, headaches, insomnia, and nausea. The second stage is the intermediary, which starts around day 10 and day 17 after the last use of Kratom and continuing anywhere between two to six weeks and can be marked by anxiety, depression, fatigue, headache, insomnia, and muscle cramps. The last stage is called the post-acute stage, stage three, which refers to post-acute withdrawal syndrome or pause, an experience that many low-dose short-term kratom consumers manage to elude. Long-term high-dose kratom consumers who go through pause may take an additional three to six months, even one year, to fully be free of lingering symptoms. Now there are two ways you can stop Kratom. You can honor those stages and work with the stages, which is called tapering, or you can do cold turkey, which means you stop immediately, face the symptoms head on, which will probably be the most extreme version of the symptoms, and just get over it within the first week or so of dealing with those symptoms. Now you'll still have all of these symptoms, but it will not be as severe if you choose the tapering method. Cold turkey is you'll hit all those symptoms I mentioned and it'll be severe and it'll be probably that way for the first week or so. And of course, everybody's different. If you choose the cold turkey method, these are the kind of symptoms that are very common when dealing with tapering and just the withdrawal 
in general. Many people have reported agitation, aggression, anger, anxiety, changes in appetites, brain fog, chills, cognitive deficits, confusion, cravings, delirium, personalization, depression, diarrhea, dizziness, fatigue, flu-like symptoms, frequent urination, headaches and migraines, hot flashes, increased blood pressure, insomnia, irritability, and itching. Now, all of this sounds awfully familiar if you are a person who has had to detox off of painkillers. It is very similar to those kind of type of things because it works on the same receptors and kratom is like painkiller. So naturally you're gonna have very similar symptoms and withdrawal process. So though you will go through those three stages, the symptoms can vary at each stage, but depending on who you are as a person, your unique anatomy, and just the way your body reacts to not having something in its system. Now, if you took 10 or more grams of Kratom, you will need for the first week, and that's the first stage, stage one of the acute stage, begin to taper down and start a dose at eight grams. Now, if it's more than 10, I highly doubt it's gonna be, a, I've seen people take Kratom between maybe five to 10 grams per dose, but typically not more than that. So you'll want to taper down to eight grams per dose twice a day. And you're gonna be at that dose for the first two days. And then after the second day, beginning on the third day, you will taper down half of what you're taking. So you will then go down to four grams twice a day. Now every two days, you will be tapering just like that until you reach one gram. And then at that stage, it is recommended that you switch to stim and vein. Now many people will choose immediately go choose stim and vein instead of tapering off of kratom. But there's factors that might hinder that cost being one of them and availability. It's not always very available for people and it is a little bit more pricier than regular Kratom, believe it or not. So just tapering off with Kratom usually is good enough because that's what you're tapering off of anyway. Stim and Vein is great if you're just wanting to take a Kratom break, but if you're wanting to detox off of Kratom, it's best just to stick with Kratom and taper down every two days half a dose less than what you're doing until you reach the post-acute stage. Now, once you get to the post, once you get to stage three, you should be around 17 days of detoxing slowly off a of Kratom. So then at that point, you can take half a gram if you're still dosing with Kratom. That's depending on how much you're taking, you might already meet one gram or half a gram before day 17. And I'll have this all charted out down below in the description notes because saying it is sometimes more confusing than just seeing it written out. But once you hit stage three, you will be done taking Kratom. And the last bit of withdrawals should be very simple to get through. Now there's many different alternatives to Kratom that you can take to help during this time, while you're detoxing from Kratom, you can check those out at this video. I've already talked about it and list these alternatives. So go watch this video after you're done here and see if those alternatives might be something you're interested in taking. They do help with some of the same benefits that Kratom delivers, but it's not Kratom. So it tends to work out for many people, at least one of those options. And that is something that you can begin once you reach the stage three. So you have something that helps you with the mood and any kind of lingering withdrawal symptoms that you might be having at that time. All right, that was a lot to take in. So hopefully it makes sense. Again, it should be detailed down in the description below, as well as a little chart here, which you can pause and screenshot. And have a great day.
and I'll see you in my next video. But make sure you like, subscribe, share. Check out my Instagram channel. I'm offering subscriptions over there only to some only to my Instagram fans and those who subscribe get personal private content. I go live in my subscriptions, which I don't get to go. I don't go live anywhere else typically. I might start going live here, but I tend to avoid going live unless it's for my subscribers. Some exclusive content, imagery, and forecasting of just the cosmic temperature and vibes that I'm getting. I'm very intuitive, so I share that with you guys. And usually I'm on point. So if you're interested in all those exclusive content, go head over to Instagram and subscribe today. Either or, I will see you in my next video.